Be warned, this is a video over two minutes long, and the last half is all about the tale of one of the most iconic Allosaurus gemadsoni specimens ever discovered. This is the original material of Big Al 2 on display at the Natural History Museum at the University of Zurich. And what you are seeing here is an overview of the skeleton, which almost everything you see is original. Here, we're looking at a damaged scapula. Yes, this thing had a ruined shoulder, and a number of ribs were damaged as well, potentially a result of a sauropod tail strike. They certainly are in an interesting line that might indicate that. Its toe was damaged as well. Was it stomped on by another victim of its massive bites? Did it fight with additional allosaurs? Both feet were injured. The ischium is damaged. Now that is going to hurt no matter how you look at it because right above that long bone is where eggs and bathroom material come out. So this is going to be a painful spot to be injured. It's difficult. It's covered in flesh. But here we go. This is all about the tail. As you know, I study tails of sauropods, but I love tails in general. And this is the only allosaurus that has chevrons that are preserved in situ. And this tail was taken out of the ground in two sections because there is a large log in the quarry that split the tail. And though there is a master's thesis that discusses this tale, it does not overtly state it was articulated, but it certainly looks like it is staring at it in person. What we're doing here is counting the caudal ribs, trying to figure out where various musculature terminates on the tail, as well as looking for various pathologies that may or may not be present. And it was an utter pleasure and delight to hang out with Dr. Dennis Hansen. As you see there, we are looking at the back half of the tail, which is super exciting because it has lots of information that no other dinosaur tail possesses, at least of allosaurs. So I look forward to seeing this better illustrated and published. It's plaque mounted, so you only get the one side you see here, and it does have paint and restoration in places, but it is an amazing specimen.